St. Petersburg has a sewage problem. The city dumping about 200 million gallons of raw sewage into the bay over this past year. And one city council member tells ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner, homeowners might be causing half of this problem and really hold the key to fixing it. When heavy rains fall on St. Pete, the sewers overflow into neighborhoods like Old Southeast. It wasn't something that I thought of, you know, when I was moving here, but now with the recent storms, it's something that has become a big issue. Turns out Brian Mertz and our Old Southeast neighbors might unknowingly be part of the problem. Experts say about half of the city's overflow problems come from the lateral pipes connecting homes to the city's main lines. Upwards of 10,000 St. Pete homes likely need new lateral pipes. Many are likely outside these older homes homes in Old Southeast. When they see that they have the, the, the pipes that run from their toilets to, to, to the street are, are collapsing, that it is better to address it uh, well well, there's, well, their sewer system still works. Councilmember Carl Nurse wants these homeowners to fix their own pipes, so he's proposing this four-step plan. The city would offer free inspections to homeowners in St. Pete. It would give them a 10-year payment plan with no interest, and those payments would be tax-deductible from income taxes. He also wants the city to bulk bid on the project to drive down the cost significantly. We're literally talking hundreds of millions of dollars. Now there is another problem. It's what to do with the homeowners who still won't fix their damaged pipes. Well, one option is fining them. Well, Bryant Mertz tells me it won't have to come to that if the city really can make it that affordable for homeowners like her. I think it would depend on really what the options were. The city council expected to vote on the idea in early 2017. In St. Pete, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.